this is Jo and today I want to bring you what I wore for these past couple of days. Now, I want to do it a little differently. Usually when I do what I wore, I would say exactly where I got it from and where you can get it, like where I got the pants from or the shirt from. And I'll have um, that in the description below. But today I want to focus on how you can just style uh, an outfit for a particular occasion. And so for instance, um, I am going to show you something where I'm wearing a button down shirt and everybody has a button down shirt, right? I'm, I'm assuming that is something that is a staple that you have. So I'm just saying, hey, if it's a little nippy and you don't wanna wear a cardigan, you still wanna look cool and a little trendy, hey, get a button down shirt, something like that. So I wanna start that with you, um, so let's go. So. The first thing that I want to share with you is this amazing outfit. So um, it is a little summery here in New England, um, but there are days where it's still a little nippy. It's still a little cool. And despite the fact that it's supposed to be summer, um, no one told the weather this. And so this day, I was heading with a really good friend of mine. Her name is Joy. And um, we usually try to get together once a week. And we like to try new places. So today, um, that day, we were heading to Newburyport, which is an awesome sea town that has really great seafood restaurants and cute boutiques. So we were, you know, just walking and checking out different places. But this outfit I really loved. So let's start from the bottom. The bottom is a linen pants. And I got this linen pants from Old Navy. Just if you are interested and you really like it and you wanna see, um, you wanna get it. Um, it's very light. So I wore this pants because it was a little nippy. It's not too cool, so I didn't want to get something that was heavy, but this linen pants did the trick. Um, it kept me warm, but it wasn't too warm, if you know what I mean. Now this linen pants is, is very casual. It's more of a trouser, and so it was very loose and very relaxed. And I paired it with some white sneakers. Hopefully you have some vintage white sneakers. You can get them anywhere, anywhere, Old Navy, um, Aldo's, Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack, they are everywhere. And these particular ones I got from Nordstrom Rack. And so they were super comfortable and I paired it with a white button down shirt. This white button down shirt is more gauzy and it was long sleeves, which is what I liked about it. I can roll it up if it was, the sun was coming out and it was a little bit warmer, but if it was a little bit cooler, I can roll um, the sleeves down. I then also paired it with that third layer. I had a awesome jean jacket that I either got from The Gap or Old Navy. I'll have it on the description right on the screen where it is from. But it was a really awesome outfit that I felt um, that I was ready for any occasion. I could, if it's cool, I was ready. If it's hot, I can take off the jean jacket and roll up my sleeve. So it was just a wonderful outfit. And of course, I loved the way it looked. It, it screamed summer to me, spring, summer. Um, yeah, so I really, really like this outfit. And one of the main things that I love about this outfit is the pants. It was so, so comfortable. It looked really nice because it was the trouser pants, but then it was super comfortable. Um, sometimes the jeans are really nice for that coverage, but you know, jeans are not as comfortable. Um, so these linen pants were great. And of course, sometimes linen pants are elastic weights. It's very, very casual, but because it was a trouser uh, linen pants, it was a little dressy. Okay, so the next outfit I wanna bring to you is this awesome, Oh, I love it. It's like a summer staple outfit, like everybody wears. You're at the Hamptons, you're at the Vineyard, you're anywhere. Um, and I was heading to a morning kind of concert, award ceremony for my children at their school. And it was in the 60s, um, but like the high 60s. So it wasn't, I didn't need a third layer, but it was still a little bit cool. And so I just threw on a striped button-down shirt 
and I just didn't want to tuck it in. I tried tucking it in because on the bottom I'm wearing a kind of casual white pants that's kind of a trouser kind of casual white pants. You could see the shirt when I tucked it in. And so I said, okay, how can I do this? I don't want to wear it out to straight out. I feel it will be a little bit too casual. So what I did is I tied it and I love it because it looks kind of chic and check and um, it was still dressy. Um, and it was dressed up by my jewelry. I wore like a nice cute pearl um, necklace with it and I had my hair back and I'm not wearing shoes right now in this picture but I ended up wearing some cool um, wedges in my, a skin color so it's kind of a neutral or nude color and I also had the bag to go with the shoes so it was a wonderful outfit that I felt put together I felt like I looked good I felt confident but it was kind of casual and comfortable at the same time and that's kind of like a rest um like a recipe for me like a, a like something that looks chic but comfortable something that looks elegant but is not stiff and i have to wear like spanks or something i hate spanks and so i i have a bunch of them but i never wear them i'm just like it's just too tight even if i get a higher size so i don't like to wear those i have it in case i need it but usually if I can find something that's elegant or chic or chic and have that comfortable kind of aspect to the outfit, it's golden for me. Okay, so this is the third outfit that I'm bringing to you. It seems as if it was a really cool week because the next thing I'm bringing to you has um, that third layer uh, um, that I'm wearing on the top. But um, this outfit starts with a navy linen pants and it has an elastic weight waist so you know it is comfy. And um, I wanted to just wear that pants and the kind of tank top that I got from Express is one of those cropped tank tops that is you in is one of their compression tank tops that are really, really nice. And I went outside and I was like, ooh, it is a little bit nippy. So I just threw on this kind of gauzy, orangey um, button down shirt and just tied it. I didn't even have it buttoned up in any way because I had that white tank top underneath. And then I paired it with these kind of cool, like different color shoes, ballet flats that I've had for years that I got from Target years ago years ago i tell you if i find something like it i will link something similar but um what i like about this outfit is um, i'm assuming that you have some linen pants in your closet if you don't you should get some it is great for summer i love this color pants it's kind of a rich blue and it just kind of um kind of make the um the button down the orangish button down shirt kind of pop I love that that those colors together and then the white just kind of just woo, just brightens the outfit and makes me happy when I'm looking at it does it make you happy it makes me happy but here is a formula that um, you can use so far what I've been showing you is this it's all three outfits that I've showed you before is um, a long pants, usually it's cotton or linen, comfortable pants, but looks really nice. And then you have that bottom layer. Some of them don't, the second one did it, but the first two did. And just having an inside shirt this time, it was a tank top that I'm showing you. And then I have that third layer. The first time it was a jean jacket, this time it was just a button down shirt rolled up and just tied, not even buttoned up, but just tied. Um, so those are that, that's a nice formula for you to have, just like a nice, really nice. It could be um, a linen pants or a jean pants, and then you have that tank top underneath, and then that third layer in case it gets a little nippy. Whether you have it tied around your waist because it's really warm, and then in the evening it gets cool, you have that third layer there. Here's another outfit for that those rainy days. It's cool and it's rainy and you still want to look good and put together. This is what I wore. So I started with jean um, pants 
um, in a lighter wash. It was kind of like an, a mom jeans with a little bit of acid wash straight, straight um, pants. And I paired it with a white um, linen v-neck um, blouse that I had. It's short sleeve. You can't see that the sleeve length because I have a jacket over it, my rain jacket um, over it. And what I loved about this outfit is the black accents. And so I was wearing a black rain jacket and I said, okay, let me just add a, a black belt. Right, so you see that I'm wearing this black belt that I got from Amazon. I really love it because there is no uh, metallic on it. Um, it's just all black. And so if you're wearing silver jewelry or gold jewelry or rose um, gold jewelry, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to match because the black is all black and you don't have to worry about that. And then I am wearing these cute leather espadrilles that I got from H&M that I love. I think this is the first time I'm wearing it. Um, I really, really love it. It's leather, it's good, um, it's really um, good, well-made, good quality. It's a little bit more because it's a leather um, sandal, but I really, really like it. And then if you just wanted to add a, a black bag, a little crossbody or a little cute little um, black bag to go with it, it will be so golden. So look in your closet, you have jeans, a light color jean, right? And then a nice white shirt, whatever, whether it is buttoned down or a t-shirt, um, something that is a V-neck would be really, you have a big bust. Um, v-necks work really well for you and then uh, a rain jacket uh, hopefully you have a black jacket and then find an, uh, black sandals whether it's a dad sandal or an espadrille where I'm like what I'm wearing right now or some cute kind of black heel sandal would look spectacular and then of course the black belt I don't have any metallic kind of gold belt or silver um, belt buckle but um, you can definitely pair that I just wanted to be a little bit more streamlined and casual so I didn't have anything with any um, gold or silver buckle so the next outfit is totally different it is warm it is sunny and I was heading to brunch with some friends of mine and I was so excited because it was in the 75 to 80 range and I got this amazing uh, romper white well I should say creamish romper um, from La Redoute um, and um, I love 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 rompers um, I don't know why because you have to like peel it off to to use the bathroom all the time and that's kind of uncomfortable to do that but I really really I love rompers it's just like a one-stop shop you what you wear on the bottom is the same on the top you don't have to be like what will I wear on the bottom what will I wear on the top it's a whole outfit easy and quick um, this, I paired it with this cute belt, this kind of maroony brown belt um, that gives that little pop that comes off the, um, the romper is being, um, that really goes well with the white creamish romper. I really love this outfit. And then with shoes, I'm wearing something like a neutral shoe. I'm wearing it um, with these sandals that's almost the same color as the belt, as these neutral brown um, sandals that I got from Amazon. And then just a straw bag that I got from H&M last year that I really, really love. Very summer outfit, very summery. Um, everybody, I'm telling you, everybody has a romper out there, the Gap. Um, Nordstrom, um, Target, H&M, Zara. There are so many rompers out there. This material is more of a genie material. Um, it's not as light, but because of the shorts and kind of like the puff long, um, short sleeve, um, it wasn't as bad. As you know, as when you get into summer, you don't want to wear too much jean material, but because of the way in which it is made with the shorts and the short sleeve, the puff short sleeve, um, it's not bad at all. One of the main things that I love about this outfit is the cute puff sleeve. It just feminizes this romper. It makes it really cute and really feminine. Okay, so the next outfit 
is this awesome white linen skirt um, with buttons going down the front that I got from Target. It is linen and I paired it with these white um, vintage um, sneakers that I got from Nordstrom Rack. I love this outfit. It screams water, it screams summer. Um, and I actually was in Newport, Rhode Island with my husband, kind of celebrating our anniversary. And it was a really nice day, but as you got closer to the water, it was a little bit cooler. So I just paired it with a button down, um, kind of jean button down shirt that I rolled up um on this rolled up the sleeves um so it just was really comfortable it was a lightweight jean um, button down shirt and then the linen skirt which is also very light and breezy and feminine and i was walking a lot so i just um put the sneakers with it and i also had this leather um, backpack that i got from barcelona and this outfit, again, to me, is very summery with the white skirt. It is flowy, it is comfy, but it looks really chic and cute. Um, and hey, do you have a linen skirt in your closet? Just pair it with a button down shirt and some sneakers from vintage sneakers and you have an awesome look. So the last outfit that I have for you is a cute dress. I was wondering, hey, does is there any dresses in this whole video? I love dresses. Dresses are my thing. I love dresses, specifically in the summer. And so I am sh bringing you one dress in this whole entire video, and it's a sweater dress that I got from H&M last year. It is super comfortable, let me tell you. Usually when I am wearing something that's a sweater dress or a bodycon dress, I always go up a size because I don't really like it clinging to me. I like it uh, that I have room to breathe and it's comfy. So I believe the, the size is a large and it's a beautiful brown color. And um, I just wanted to wear something where it was covering my arms. It was a little bit cool. Again, it is still kind of a cool summer here in New England. And so I just threw on like a brown, uh, I'm sorry, a blue linen shirt and I just tied it. I didn't even button it up, I just tied it. And my shoes are some cute neutral shoes that matches the bag. And I love this outfit outfit for my usual thing comfort comfort and more comfort i just feel really relaxed in this um outfit but yet i feel put together and i feel i look good um i feel confident in this i feel it's a little bit sexy because it's a v-neck um but i am not showing too much. I have a shirt, a button down shirt. So it's hiding my shoulders and arms. And so it's just kind of like a peekaboo right where my chest is, um, which I love. I love, love, love this um, um, outfit. And it's something that you can have in your um, closet if you have uh, a spaghetti strap dress like a maxi dress which is in right now guys the trend is maxi dresses and you are feeling a little bit uncomfortable about your arms or you just want to cover up a little bit because it's cool then just throw on a nice linen button down shirt tie it at the waist and to me that's another way in which if you're feeling a little bit uncomfortable about your tummy area just having something where it's tied right near your tummy it kind of covers that tummy and so that's a really good um a really good rule that you might have if you are really uh, uncomfortable with the midsection and you want to you want to wear a dress that's a little bit clingy but you're not comfortable just throw on a shirt and then tie it at the waist or even a blazer you can wear a nice linen blazer with this that would be really great as well um, but i just choose chose a shirt because to me it's just so much easier than a blazer and it's not as thick or a, not as dressy i would say as a blazer 
So guys, that's it. That is what I wore and just kind of rules of what I was thinking about, where I was going and what you can do with the things that you have in your closet. Hopefully this helped and I will see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe though and hit that notification button. And if you have any questions or concerns, just leave them in the comments below. I will see you soon. Bye.